morning. This is Elizabeth. There is something I wish to discuss with you, so please come to the Velvet Room post-haste. I believe this matter is of great import to you. I shall be anticipating your arrival. I've been waiting for you. Very well, then. Looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? I won't insist you do anything, but it'd be greatly appreciated. Shame. Very well then. to the Velvet Room. Are you in search of new... Please, choose the personas you would like to fuse. Well, then, have you all the elements you need? This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? What do you wish to inherit?
It seems you have been blessed with some power. Well then, shall we begin? Are you finished? We look...
Hello. Let's wrap up for today. Good work, everyone. Whew, all done. All right, let's clean up and go home. really figure out what's causing the pain. It might lead to serious complications down the road. Does anywhere else hurt? Are your nose and throat all right? Does it feel like your head is in a vice? Oh boy, here we go. Heisuke Senpai strikes again. Now Magishi-san won't be going anywhere for a while. someone isn't feeling well, he always tries to figure out what's wrong. And it doesn't matter when or where. Once he starts, it takes forever. Keisuke Senpai's dad's the director of a big hospital, and he's an only child. I guess he just can't stand to see people suffer. I bet he'll end up going to medical school. So the pain's originating from the back of your head? Could you turn around, please? Ah, don't worry. It's just a chronic tension-type headache. Most likely the result of stress. You might be spending too much time in front of the computer. Try to get outside and exercise more. It must seem funny to get medical advice from the head of the art club. I was worried I'd come down with the flu or something. In that case, I can do a more thorough check. Could you remove your shirt? Also, open your mouth and stick out your tongue. What? Uh, that's okay. I'm fine. Besides, our dorm isn't far, so he can accompany me back. Uh, sorry, sorry. Wait, you two live in the dorms? I guess I see it in Yamagishi-san. She seems like the well-adjusted type. I bet you're a great cook. Do you take care of the laundry? Is living alone hard? Sorry, Yamagishi-san. I forgot about your condition. I know it's close, but I don't think you should be walking home. Why don't I call you a taxi? Though a bumpy taxi ride might make your headache worse. Maybe a limousine would be better. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine, really.
you today then sorry I didn't mean to interrupt while you were reading if you don't mind can you let me know your thoughts once you finish it oh I didn't notice the time how far did you get Wow you've read that much already huh I made a lot of progress too was I more focused than usual or again sometime i used to think reading was only a solo activity but now i think reading with someone helps me immerse myself deeper into the fictional world i'm here whenever i can spare the time so come by if you can i'd be happy to have you all right that's enough for today good night 